is Vlad1k here and uh, today I'm going to show you how to run a web server um, specifically Lite uh, TPD on and MySQL database on your iPhone, iPod, iPad and uh, yeah so I am running iOS 6 here oh, I can modify this very easily but um I'm running IO. Where is it? Um, one sec. Okay, here. iOS point uh, six point zero point one, and I'm and I have iPod Touch fourth generation, uh, white model. So let's get started. So first, you have to have a jailbroken device. Um, it really uh, well, it's the only way you to get this running. So, uh, once you have a jailbroken device, what you have to do is go into Cydia, and once you're in uh, Cydia, and uh, let's let this load for uh, a while. One second. Um, it's loading. Let's click cancel. So, once you go into search, uh, and I'm going to put the repo. A repository in the info. So you search light tpd dash atv. I believe that's the one. Yes. So click here and uh you'll have an install button right here. It's free and uh uh and it says right here light uh, HTTPD is a very small supposedly fast web server and it's pretty small. It's less than 30 MBs so once you have uh, it installed you'll have to reboot um, I don't uh, don't respring uh, reboot because well yeah just reboot and this will install uh, this will install the web server so once uh, you're rebooted go to settings settings app scroll down and find light tpd mysql so once you're here those are going to be off enable them by switching them on so once that's there um what you'll have to do and what you'll have to do is go to uh, your address bar and type local host without uh so yeah this is my custom page but yeah this is the the first page you're gonna have is uh it's gonna be like a small guide for the web server how to change your password mysql password how to manage your database and to manage your database you'll have a ad miner installed ad miner which is uh kind of like php my admin but it's a lot lighter but it has a lot less functions so I renamed the file to sql.php. So you right here you can uh, in this username you put root. In the server you put localhost or your IP. Um, in the password you put whatever password you chose. In my case it's Vlad1k. Click log in. And from here, it's really easy to actually use it. And let's let it load for a couple of seconds. All right, there it goes. So select the database. So you can uh, create a new database right here. Just click that, and after that, you can import a database. So once you're done, to manage your files, what you have to do is have iFile or some uh, app like iFile, I recommend iFile because it's one of the best but um, some app like iFile and you need to navigate to the first directory to the main directory it will have uh, applications, bin, boot, blah 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 scroll all the way to the bottom and click VAR um, then scroll all the way to the bottom again and click www and this is basically like a public HTML folder. You can put index.php in here. Um, you can put basically anything. So uh, I'm going to show you that it's running PHP right now. Um, you can see here. Let me edit it so it's readable. 
So this is a yeah. So this basically echoes or writes the PHP info to the it's test.php as you saw. So once you uh did that go to localhost oops local ghost local host slash test dot php which is a php info um so once you're there it's gonna load and for some reason it's really going so super slowly but um it's yeah there we go so it's gonna see everything so I believe it supports CGI scripts, but as you can see, system right here. Darwin Vlad Bondarenko, which is my uh, iPod name. Kernel. Uh, the current time. I know that's no, that's not that's something different. Or is it? Twenty-nine. Uh, that no, that's yeah, that's something totally different. And it says iPod 4.1, but uh, yeah, it is 4.1. So, it has lots of useful stuff. Lots and lots and lots of useful stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, one of the things I gotta tell you is you'll be able to go to localhost without port forward. Uh, port forwarding. So, oh my god. Okay, local host. You can either choose local host or 127.0.0.1, which is the same thing as local host, or your IP address, your um, router IP address, which is, let me show you right now. Give it a couple of seconds to load. Go to Wi Fi. My Wi-Fi is Vlad. Um, now click on this button right here. And yeah, sorry, I have a really cool <laughs> mail. Oops, what did I do? So uh, your IP address would be this one three. Well, in my case, I made it this way, but one three dot three seven. So the top one. And note that the last uh, digits, uh, the last three digits. So it's the same uh, way. So one three dot three seven dot one three dot one hundred. And again, it loads up. Should load up. Yes. No. Maybe so. Anyway, sorry, it's going super laggy. Um, my I set my router so it. Come on. Okay, my internet is going crazy right now. Oh, there it goes. Loaded up. So, uh, yeah, so I set my router, uh, it has a built-in no IP, uh, tool that forwards the host to my IP address, but, uh, not, uh, not all browsers have that, but my, or not browsers, but routers, but my router, which is SMC, has that function, and, uh, to have, for example, if you go here, my IP, my IP is 176.3 little that um, and if you have your router poured forwarded or sent on DMZ if you copy this and if you load okay and if you paste it in the uh, URL address bar it's still gonna load just as it should but that only is, but that applies to only uh, if you port forwarded your uh, your uh, router to the port 80. Remember, the port is 80, and uh, I highly recommend you to uh, disable disable it because uh, it eats about one uh, battery percentage like every three or four minutes. So it's really inefficient unless you have it on the charger. Oh, where am I? Go back. And um, one thing I'm gonna note is uh, light H light T P D is not ap 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 posh or apache. I don't know how to say, but 
um, it does not support HD access which like completely blows but um, not all uh, not all uh, PHP scripts need HD access advanced ones do but um, not all of them so I'm running a HTML search or er, er, just HTML but I'm running a search engine which you can find right here I just uh, transferred it right here uh, this is a search engine made from scratch by me and another guy called uh, named Camille um, it's uh, it's not done yet but um it uses uh, lots of PHP it uses CURL it uses so much stuff but if you search feature points I only have like five sites indexed um, we're working on a crawler, crawler but if you go on feature points or go oh, search feature points you can see right here um, so it does process very uh, efficiently um, so I don't think there is anything else I could tell you um, but thank you for watching this video and uh, I'll make sure to uh, post new videos like this and um subscribe or like the video or comment any questions and I would I would actually love to answer them so um, I'm really new at this and this is completely unedited and um, see you later guys